Hello YouTubers, this is Astronomy Made Easy with Easton 462. Today you're going to learn why the moon has phases. Basically speaking, the moon has phases due to its position and its orbit and how you see it from Earth. I know that might sound a bit complicated, so if it does, don't worry. I have pictures that will make it nice and easy to understand. Here we see all eight major phases of the moon with their positions as if we viewed it from the sun. The moon's orbit is traced here by the red line, and the moon's phases travel in the counterclockwise direction of the red arrow. The pictures you see inside the white circles represent how we see the moon from Earth at each represented phase. Now to explain the terms that you're reading, the term waxing, as in a waxing crescent, means the moon is growing in size towards a full moon, and the term waning means that it is shrinking in size towards a new moon. So the moon waxes to a full moon and then wanes to a new moon. A crescent phase is when you see less than half of the moon, which is referred to as a thumbnail moon, and a gibbous phase is when you see more than half of the moon. For our purposes, to make this quick and easy, we're going to focus on the four quarter phases. These are the new moon, the first quarter moon, the full moon, and the third quarter moon. Okay, first we see the new moon. This is when the moon is directly in between the earth and the sun. For this reason, when the sun's light shines upon the moon, the light is reflected back towards the sun away from the earth. This is why we do not see a moon at all during the new moon phase. Now we move on to the first quarter moon. Now the moon is directly to the side of the earth, seen in this diagram. Therefore, as the sun shines upon the moon, the half of the moon that is receiving sunlight reflects the light to the earth causing us to only see half of the moon. Now we will look at the full moon and a full moon occurs when the earth is between the moon and the sun. During this phase the full face of the moon receives sunlight and reflects the entirety of its surface back towards the earth therefore we see a full moon. Next we will look at the third quarter phase. Now the third quarter phase is exactly like the first quarter phase except it's a mirror image. So in the third quarter phase you will see the left side of the moon instead of the right side of the moon. Now after the moon returns to its new moon phase the process will start over again. So after the third quarter it's going to come back around and become in between the earth and the sun. Now when we talked about crescent moons and gibbous moons those are the in-betweens. When the moon is in between a new and a first quarter, you're going to see just a sliver of light. That's what gives it that thumbnail moon, the crescent look. And then when it's in between the first quarter and the full moon, that's when you see a little bit over half of it, but it's still not a full moon. And likewise, as it keeps going around the Earth. Now hopefully this helps you understand the phases of the moon. If not, feel free to ask any questions below and I will respond to them when I have time. Thanks for watching, feel free to comment below, and please subscribe as more Astronomy Made Easy videos are on the way.